You know, I uh, just got done talking to Sarah, the youngest, 12 years old. I've been her stew daddy now for oh, almost 11 years, so pretty much her daddy. But I was talking to her, and I told her that my opinion of um, people and my perspective of people is a little different um, because of the jobs that I've had and the kind of people, the actors and models and voiceovers and that kind of interesting creative type I've dealt with. So my father would always tell us the prettiest girls stay at home alone on Friday night because guys are afraid to ask them out. And I told her that's true. I also told her as we were talking that uh, unfortunately most guys are idiots and <clears throat> I'm not, but most guys are. And unfortunately a lot of them like to cheat. Um, sorry guys, but it's true. And what happens is, uh, you know, some of the most insecure females I've ever met are the most beautiful. And why is that? Unfortunately, again, sorry guys, but it's because of the guys, the insecure guys. Um, what happens is that Ken doll is insecure. He's a cheater. He meets the pretty Barbie doll who's very secure and happy. Well, you know, this guy, he likes her shirt, thinks it's sexy. He likes her cool jeans, really sexy. Oh, her hair is nice and her perfume is amazing. Well, what happens is once he becomes the boyfriend, um, yeah, he, he assumes she's going to cheat just like he does. So he says to her, you know the, that shirt? Yeah, 1980 called. Uh, you know, it's kind of out of style. Oh, my gosh, she feels like an idiot. So she wears something different. Oh, honey, those jeans they really look kind of heavy. And I'm not just, I'm just telling you because I love you. Now she feels insecure. She's wearing outdated clothes and she's fat. Oh, geez. Then he brings up the hair. Why is he doing this? Because he doesn't want other guys to look at her like he did. Because then she'll cheat like he does. So don't let that happen to you because you're a pretty girl. You be positive. You be confident. And any man to say any different, you just tell him to bite an egg. That's it. I didn't feel like typing that advice, but that's Stu Daddy logic 101. Thank you, and have a good day.